Now the dash cam video that has the Iowa State Patrol on the defensive. Troopers cuff a man and put him in the cruiser. He escapes, then dies moments later. KTV News Watch 7's Adrian Witsett joins us with this new story tonight. Adrian. And Rob, it's how he escaped that's raising eyebrows tonight. The video shows Matthew Lenskow in the front seat of a trooper's vehicle moments before his November death. During a traffic stop, after a field sobriety test, Matthew Lenskow gets handcuffed by an Iowa State trooper and Jasper County deputies. The trooper did everything right. He made the arrest. He put that subject in the vehicle, handcuffed him behind his back, put a seatbelt on him. But as you can see in this dash cam video, everything's certainly not right. Lenskow struggles against his restraints and moves around enough to unbuckle the seatbelt. Then he opens the door. As he gets out, Lenskow is hit by an oncoming van on Interstate 80 near Newton, Iowa. This recently released video raises questions about cages in the back of troopers' vehicles. We need accessibility to that, our back seat, and that's one of the reasons why we don't have cages. We live out of that car while we're working. Sergeant Scott Bright says these patrol cars are their office, and the cage would take up too much room where they need to put equipment. He puts the blame on Lenskow. That individual made that decision to unbuckle that seatbelt, try to escape, and he paid the ultimate sacrifice. Lenskow's dad told the Associated Press that the trooper who made the original stop and the two deputies who came in as backup shouldn't have allowed his son to unbuckle and then get out. The county sheriff, though, says in hindsight, they should have put the man in the cage of one of the deputies' cars, but says the officers at the time believed they were doing everything right. Back to you. Adrian, thanks.